Welcome into day five of the Vine Daily for this week. Hey, I've been uh, just excited to be able to share with you uh, just some, some, some things about the life of Abraham as I've studied them and looked at them in the word of the Lord. I hope they've been a blessing to you. We've, the, the subject has been the essentials of Abraham's faith. Now, if you're just joining me, I've been saying this all week, is that not just talking about Abraham, though, we're also talking about ourselves, how we should display uh, our faith in God. We talk about, you know, just how Abraham has believed God when there's no reason to believe God, how that Abraham has not uh, allowed his faith to be weakened, how he did not waver, and how he has been strong in his faith. There's one more thing that I want to talk about, then I'll be done and we'll move on, okay? Um, it's, again, reading out of Romans chapter 4, looking at Paul's perspective of Abraham's faith. Uh, I'll go back to verse 20, my, but the last point is out of verse 21, but I want you to hear verse 20 first. It says, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And here it is right here. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able to perform. And so this final essential of faith, this fifth one I want you to hear, is that he was fully convinced of God's ability. This is very important, okay? Because if we're gonna have true faith, we have to be fully convinced that God can do what he said he was going to do. And Abraham is being told, you're 100 years old, your wife is 90, you're going to have a child. But Abraham was fully convinced, fully persuaded that what God had said he was going to do, that God was going to do it through their lives. So I know you may have some things that you're thinking about God has said about you and you don't see no how, no way, you know, how is this going to happen, how that going to happen. You have to be fully convinced that God can do it. Not you, God can do it. See, here's the thing. The pressure is not on us. The, 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 the responsibility is not on us. If this is his word, God must perform his word. Now, do we work in coordination with it? Absolutely. But it's not my ability. It is not my uh, responsibility to bring it to pass. Only God can bring it to pass. And we must be fully convinced that the same God that created the cosmos, the same God that created you and I, the same God that has kept us and blessed us and done so many great things, it is the God that is can do. He's a can do God that can do the things that he said to us. So, you know, take that with you and run with it. Just knowing, hey, you know what? I'm convinced that God can do it. Come on, confess that right now. I am convinced. Yeah, come on, say it. I am convinced that God can do it. And, and that's the word that I wanted to leave with you. Thank you for hanging out with me this week as we talk about these essentials of Abraham faith. Apply them to your life and let's see and what God will do for us. God bless you.